What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudor Leonte for Sherdot.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with, with PFL 2022 light heavyweight semifinalist, Mr. Joshua Silvera. Hello, sir. How are you today? How are you doing? Good, brother. Good. How are you doing today? I'm fine as well. Thank you for asking. Uh, how was your morning session? Since I'm guessing you're still preparing for your upcoming fight on August the 5th. Um, it's good, you know, um, right now, um, it's just being healthy and getting to the fight, right? Um, not getting hurt or any more hurt, <laughs> um, <laughs> and just get to the fight in one piece and let's go have some fun. Was it a tough, uh, training camp? Um, every training camp is tough, right? But I think specifically for the PFL, you know, you're fighting every two to three months, um, you have to adjust as less different than guys who fight maybe once or twice a year. Um, you know, this, like I said, you, you, you want to get to the fight, you know? So, um, for me, it was just maintaining, you know, being smart, maintaining, um, my, my, my tools, but, um, nothing crazy, you know, cause there, there's nothing I could do so much different in the same year you know i just gotta be tough be smart and be healthy you know i heard different opinions on the fact that you know you're forced to to fight to compete at least four times in a short amount of time you know i even heard some very respected mma veterans like anthony pettis for example who was surprised you know who perhaps a little bit underestimated the difficulty of it how did you yeah. cope with it so for me, I come from a wrestling background, um, jiu-jitsu wrestling, right? I come from a grappling background. So in high school, I started competing wrestling, um, you know, when I was 16 years old. And then I competed in college. And, 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 and rest, in the wrestling world, you compete every weekend. Every weekend, uh, you're making a weight. Every weekend, you're competing. So for me, not so much different, I would say, but... um. I, I do understand it's a tough season, but that's what we sign up for, you know? Um, that's that's um, that's how you win a million dollars. It's not supposed to be easy. So for me, it doesn't matter. Because I think if you look at fighters, fighters are always asking for fights. I need a fight. I need a fight. I need a fight. Well, PFL is here, you know? Yeah. PFL is here. Yeah. So <laughs> For sure, for sure. And they are offering quite a lot of, fights to to you know to whoever wanted to step up uh to the occasion right now you're scheduled to face omari akhmedov on august the 5th in the, the semi-finale um you replaced and antonio carlos jr for this fight yeah. after Cardi sapato injured his knee uh were you training at the time were you already busy you know you were you staying ready yeah because uh they they gave me a fight um so Omari and Sapato were supposed to fight. So they, they, I was going to fight regardless August 5th because they, they had another opponent for me. Uh, I believe it was Corey Hendricks. Okay. Corey nice. Hendricks, yeah. So that was my original opponent. Uh, exhibition fight have nothing to do with this, the playoffs. But I was in an alternate position. So Sapato got hurt, and that makes me go in. So now they have Corey Hendricks and, and, and Hamlet, the guy I just fought. They're fighting for the second time, I believe. I believe so. Uh, is it strange for you that, you know, both you and your upcoming opponent, Omari Akhmedov, uh, are training at the same, in the same, is he still with the American top team or? Have, yeah, he's still there. Yeah, I just saw him this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it strange for you to see your upcoming opponent training at your your gym? No, not so strange uh, because I was raised with the ATT. I've been with ATT since the beginning. I was with ATT before ATT. Um, so many times this has happened when I was a kid. Uh, Tyron Woodley versus Robbie Lawler. Um, um, uh, Biggie versus Junior Dos Santos. This always is happening at the gym. Um, guys fight against each other. Um, to me, it goes to show the American Top Team is a very good gym. It shows that we have good guys. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not different for me. It's not weird. Um, it's the business, man. It's the business. Um, we all want to win. We all need to do what we got to do, you know. But, you know, we, 
we uh this this is part of it you know and someone like me young guy hungry you know for a million dollars you know uh if i have to fight a abuelita i'll fight a abuelita for a million dollars <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> but uh, i'm just playing i'm playing but but yeah, man, you know so that's the kind of you have to think like that you know yeah, I was about to, to say poor Abolita. I hope for her sake not to face you inside the cage, considering that you, you have quite a killer instinct once you <laughs> don the foreign gloves. Um, have you and uh, Akhmedov ever trained together uh, over these years? Yeah, many times. Um, um, before uh, Mekomedov, he was in UFC. Uh, maybe his last four or five fights in UFC, I helped him. I helped him a lot, you know. Maybe two years of helping him, me and him always. Um, when there is a like a wrestling day when we're looking for partners, I'm always look. I used to always look for him. You know him, or or I I work a lot with the Russians a lot. That's why I I like to create the style, the rough style, go go go. So I worked a lot. Not just Russian, the more the Dagestanian guys. You know we have a big we have a little community of the Dagestanian guys who train at our gym, and I train a lot with them. You know um always so i understand them they understand me this is gonna be a good fight you know it's gonna be a good fight considering that you know your next opponent very well how do you see your next fight going down um i i never know exactly how it goes down you know that's the beauty about fighting the unknown what's gonna happen but um like I said, man, I'm a young, hungry lion, man, you know, and Omari has been fighting a long time. Um, I feel like I'm on my way in and he's on his way out. You know, um, that's the best thing I know. Um, I'm not going to take him lightly. Um, I'm going to take him serious like everyone else, you know, but I, I, I just know that um, this is the way that it has to go, you know, and I'm not going to not going to let just because we're teammates distract me from my goal, you know? Who is going to be in your corner? Uh, my father, um, Alemão, we call him Alemão, and uh, Steve Mako, the wrestling coach. And uh, Omari's corner is actually coaches. We have a bunch of coaches, so his. I'm not taking anybody from his corner. He has people he work with, and I have my people I work with. So that worked out better with the corner. Yeah. Uh, like you said before, you no, know, uh, I believe you already, you, uh, and by you, I mean ATT already has dealt with this kind of situation. So you are already prepared yeah. you know, when two fighters of the, the same team are clashing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. My father does a good job um, creating both guys to be comfortable. But for this particular moment, um, for this fight, uh, it worked out well. Now, if I would have fought Shoe Face, my other teammate, um, it would have been different because we have the same boxing coaches and some of the similar coaches. But for Omari, um, even his his coach in charge is Pahumpa. It's the little coach. Um, he's doing his corner and he's always done his corner. You know, my father never did Omari's corner. He's helped Omari, but never did his corner. So, um, yeah, this is this, this is not so hard to to figure out um our coaches and stuff. The other playoff sees Robert Wilkinson taking on uh, Dylan Monti. Who is your pick for that fight? Um, I know Dylan pretty well too. I trained with Dylan when I was an amateur in Arizona. Um, man, I think Dylan surprised everybody this season, right? Everyone thought he was supposed to lose and this. I think he surprised some people. Um, but Robert's tough. Robert's tough. He's a, he's a tough guy, you know. Um, I don't want to pick anybody. I don't want to think too ahead. But um, I think if I was fighting in the finals for a million dollars, I want to fight the good fight. And the good fight looks like it would be Robert Wilkinson. That would be a good fight. You know, the fight for a million dollars, that'd be a good fight. Two tough young guys. But um, I would love to fight Dylan too. You know, I really don't know. I, it seems like Robert might be a little bit more experienced. A little bit more, and he 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 fought for the UFC before he fought against Israel Asanya to be specific, yeah. you know. So maybe he understands. Um, and Dylan's a brawler, man. Dylan is a fighter. Dylan's a fighter, so 
So uh, sorry about that. No, no worries. No worries. That's... Dylan's a fighter, you know. So let's let's see. Um, the one of I interviewed you ju just after you signed with the PFL. Uh, yeah. I saw your fight in the PFL Challenger Series with uh, Mohamed Juma, and that was quite a nasty affair, wasn't it? Yeah. So I, I learned a lot in that fight. Believe it or not, you know, I, I learned how to how to fight emotional a little bit. You know, I got a little frustrated. Uh, I've been doing this for so long for so somebody to grab the fence, kick me in the nuts, hook my mouth. I'm, I'm like, what the hell, man? Like, I know how to fight like that too, but I, I don't want to do that, you know? So I, I learned a lot with, with Juma um, and I grew. I grew as a fighter there, you know? I'm, I'm not the same guy. Um, I'm growing. Um, I'm young. Um, I'm like a sponge just taking it all in, you know? Yeah, and of course that fight was quite frustrating for you know for you considering your opponent's fight fighting style and uh, especially since he made a lot of fouls during that boat but still you uh, showcased all of your potential and your skills with Martin Hamlet uh you know yeah. were you were you surprised by anything in that clash no i'm not surprised um not in a cocky way or anything um in my mind, I'm always going to win, you know, and I'm a finisher. I'm always going to win. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Only God knows, you know, but um, I'm, I'm a finisher. And I know um, the moment will present itself. I don't go force it. And with Hamlet, I knew there was be a time where the head kick would come or a takedown and a choke, you know, and, and, and this time it was the head kick, you know. Um, do I love doing that? Yes. Do I, do I go looking for it all the time? No, you know, cause I know something in my mind is going to say, all right, now is the time, you know? So I, I, that's the way I fight. You know, I take advantage of the moments that are given to me and, um, stay calm and collective when I'm not in the moment, you know, try to stay yeah. good cardio, keep, um, stay focused, you know, and in the, in the Hamlet fight, I did get punched in the beginning, you know, I got a little punched. Um, that's part of the game, man. You know, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. I just know where I want to go with the fight. Joshua, I finished my questions. Do you have any less messages that you would like to share with us today? Um, August 5th, Madison Square Garden, man. You know, come look at this guy, um, this new guy right here. Um, you know, um, I'm a new guy, but I've been involved for so long. Um, and... I have, um, how can I say this? I have appreciated many other fighters' um, victories growing up. I have experienced many other fighters um, change their lives and come see me August 5th so I could change my life, you know? I've been helping so many people um, that now, you know, I'm in put in position to go help myself. And I think that's a very special thing if you uh, follow my story from the beginning. But if you haven't followed my story, jump on the boat right now, jump on the train and, and enjoy it because it's an awesome, awesome story. And uh, I can't wait to uh, continue it. You know, it's exciting. I wrote a feature on, on your career, actually, since you started competing oh, and uh, right uh, before you signed with the PFL. So I, I will link I, I that. Read it. I did read it. I did read okay. that. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with the upcoming fight. And hopefully I will hear again from you before the final. Thank you. To door, right? To door? Yes, yes. Appreciate it, Tudor. I appreciate it. And um, let's do it next week, man. Let's have some fun, right? Let's let's go write some more cool stuff about me. Of course, <laughs> of course. Have a nice one. Bye-bye. You too, brother. Bye-bye.